Hey guys, welcome to the desk. I'm Dan Lateman. Uh, a lot happened this week. Cool. Anyway, here's Puncher. Here are news stories. A three-year-old girl is safe after being lofted by a kite in Taiwan while the search for this poor woman is still ongoing. One of three cubs orphaned by a famous bear's death was captured. They have another two chances to get it just right. Elon Musk shows how the Neuralink brain implant works using a pig, so shout out to our new super intelligent overlord, Babe. Trump says New York City needs a young version of Rudy Giuliani to fight crime, so get ready for our new mayor, Alarva. People say Kamala Harris is walking the line between lawmaker and law enforcement, while Don Jr. is just enjoying the line. New York City reaches a deal with the teachers union and will reopen schools on September 21st, so get ready for a Professor Nova episode from 1998. Pakistan blocks five dating apps including Tinder and Grindr, but will keep the dating app Parents. German police called in on a bomb threat found three bottles of hamster DNA instead. Said the breeders at Petco, wait, damn it, which wire do I cut? The Miami DJ known for I like to move it is found dead in his Florida home. The murder was just. S.E. Coop spoke about Biden's new campaign ad saying he was speaking my love language. Said Trump, ooh, you mean the campaign ad said not tonight, I have a headache? David Blaine successfully flies over the Arizona desert holding onto helium balloons. Damn it, Disney, you're even making a live action up? Trump's base is shrinking as whites without a college degree continue to decline, and let's hope that another college also gets him out of office. Despite mass testing, University of Illinois sees coronavirus cases rise. Maybe the catch and release program wasn't the best idea. Students, parents, and teachers prepare for the new school year with virtual classrooms, and sadly enough, each class will end with, please like and subscribe. Slate wrote, should we admire the Vikings? If you're going with a race of people, no. If you're going with a sports team, still no. A woman bites her husband's penis after he refuses to kill a rat in their home. I'm naming this move a redneck bris. Gwyneth Paltrow and Winona Ryder went from best friends to bitter enemies due to one terrible rumor, but can you blame Gwyneth for being a little testy? She's packing a full geological survey halfway up her sternum. Joe Biden has confirmed that he's been tested at least once for COVID-19 and promised he will be tested regularly during his campaign. And if he does run into COVID-19 on the campaign trail, he will challenge it to a fist fight behind the bleachers. For the desk. I'm Dan Laidman. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. I'll see you next week. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs>